Hi guys, I am here with my uh, pack for the Colorado Trail, which uh, Sunsets and I are going to be doing um, in a couple months or so. So I'm uh, just going through my pack. Um, this is the Osprey Aura 50 liter, um, the same one I had on the AT, which I loved. Um, I did take the brain off of this one and I'm just using the flap here and I'll just go through it for you. So starting with the outside, I have my Crocs of course, on either side. Um, I ended up going with Crocs this year because I think they're just gonna be more comfortable and good for river fordings if needed and more comfortable in camp at night. I can put on with socks real easily, etc. cetera. Um, on the outside pocket here, I have my head umbrella and then the Seanock water bag with the Sawyer Squeeze. Um, on this side, I have an extra a smart water bottle. And then going around to the front here, I have my main water bottle and Justin's UL water bottle holder, which we love and we also sell in our hostel. Um, my snot and sweat rag, which I love as well. My phone holder, some Carmax and hand sanitizer, sunglasses. Um, over here, I have a of my P style and I had Justin's water bottle holders. He made me a um, specific case for it, which I love. Um, I can access it with my pack on. I use this little um, Fisherman zip line thing so I can just pull it around, take it out, use it with my pack on, put it back in and it just zips back like that. So I think I'm really gonna like that. Um, and then I have a little Swiss Army knife here and a little thermometer, which this thing is really cheap, but I think I already broke it once, so that might go by the wayside. So going into my mesh pack on top, I have my TP and wet wipes, very handy. My rain jacket, which I think I'm going to love. I just got this. It's the, um... Mont Bell Virtus and super light, um, really good reviews. I'm really excited to try it out. My glasses with a little glass cloth that I absolutely need for reading. Rain pants, OR, outdoor research. A bug net. And pack cover for my pack. Okay, and then inside, before I get into my um, compactor liner bag, I have this little sit, sit pad um, on top. And then I have my Cuddle Duds fleece, lightweight fleece hoodie, which I just love, and I want that easy access so I can easily take out and wear at any time. Um, I have my everything bag, really, hairbrush, um, first aid for both me and Sunsets, um, my electronics, which is my anchor, my USB plug for charging when in town, headlamp, um, and various charging cords. Then I have my puffy jacket. Um, I will put the brand below. And also, it zips into its own pocket, um, but also I was able to fit in here my merino wool buff for when it's cold for around my neck, my beanie hat, which is Chaka's. I had this on the AT, really thin on top, but it has a fleece liner around the ear and head, head part, so I really like that. And then I'm really excited about these Outdoor Research um, gloves. I'll put the exact name on the video. They are, they have this little pocket in front and it comes with a waterproof shell that you can put over the glove when it's raining out. Then on one side over here, I have my um, air mattress, which is the Thermarest Neo Air Light, and then I also have my pillow in here that I blow up because it's really small, um, and I'll put these names on the video as well. And then on this other side over here, I have my clothes bag, which, let's see what's in there. 
now my chill rag for when it gets really hot. Um, and here I have a second pair of Injinji sock liners and darn tough socks to wear during the day and underwear so I can change my socks out every other day for, for if they're wet. Um, leggings to hike in. These are by Athleta. And they're also, they're not super thin, so they'll be warm too if it's cold out. And then my sleep socks, sleep shirt, which is just a t-shirt, but I can put on my fleece hoodie over it if need be. And smart wool leggings to sleep in, which are super warm. And I have my food bag, which is an ursac. And I have about five days of food in here right now. Um, and I also have the OPSAC liner for scent, making it scent proof. Um, we used this the other day when we went out on our overnight and it worked really well and I'm really excited about it. Um, number one, we don't have to hang a bear bag, which sunsets always did anyway. But also because in Colorado we'll be above ridgeline a lot, um, no trees at all for bear hanging. So it'll be easier to find a place for the RSAC. And that is it for the inside part in my trash compactor liner bag. And down here, I have just a, a little liner bag to protect my enlightened equipment quilt, um, which is a revelation. And I also have a liner in here, see the summit liner that should add about 15 degrees warmth. Um, so that should work good. I have a little See the Summit day pack that we can use when we're in town or if we want to slack pack ever, which I, we're at least going to slack pack once that we have scheduled, so that'll be cool. And then just um, a little repair kit stuff for the tent, for our sleeping pads. Okay, so for the clothes I'm wearing and what I'm wearing, um, I'll have my trekking poles. I just got these um, about a month ago, they're the Lucky Lady. Um, which I don't know what is specific for women on these, but I really like them so far. They're just like the ones I had on the AT cork handle. Um, pretty lightweight straps, which I don't really use the straps. I just hold them like this. So I was thinking about taking these off, but sometimes I use them if I'm going up or down the hill for a long time. So, um, then my shoes, I have the Ultra Lone Peaks. Um, which I love. I've been wearing basically since after my AT hike. I wore them for the Camino in Spain, 500 miles, and all the training and hiking we've been doing since. So this is a fairly brand new pair. I'm kind of saving them. I've worn them once or twice to make sure they fit the same. They do. Um, I'll wear them for the Bartram Trail and the Colorado Trail. Then I have my Darn Tough socks, which I got these new ones recently with a little bear on them. I think they're so cute. Um, and as mentioned earlier, I have two pairs of Darn Toughs, two pairs of Injinjis. So when they're wet, I can switch them out, hang them on my pack if I need to dry them, etc. Then my underwear is Ex Officio. Um, I really like these. It's the mesh sport, sport mesh. Um, hip bikini. They're super lightweight, really dry really quickly, very comfortable to hike in. I just love them. My buff, which I love, and then I'm not sure what sports bra I'm going to use. This is the Smart Wool bra, and this is the Patagonia Barely, Barely bra, I think it's called, or Barely Bear. Um, I really like both of them. This one's a lot lighter, and this, of course, is Merino Wool, so... I'm still using them and seeing which one is more comfortable. So, oh, also for what I'm wearing, my Nike hat I'll be bringing, my sports watch, and these shorts, um, basically like bikey, uh, stretchy shorts from Athleta. I really like them. Um, and then I have a Columbia shirt that is coming in. I haven't received it yet. Um, but I, I know it'll fit me and I really like the fabric. It's super lightweight. It's called the PFG Columbia Tamiami 2 and it has UPF 40 um, and I'll treat it with permethrin too. I'm going to treat all my clothes that I'm wearing with
with permethrin um, for tick coverage and to help with mosquitoes possibly. So that's about it for that. And then I also have, um, yeah, Petco UltraPod for my tripod and it also has a Velcro so you can wrap it on a tree. Um, yeah. And that's it for what I'm wearing. So my whole pack um, with five days of food and one smart water bottle of water, which is a liter, comes to 26 pounds exactly. So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, should be good for the Colorado Trail. Sunsets will be carrying our tent, which is a two person Big Agnes Copper Spur UL2. And a few other things like sunscreen, um, the pooper scooper, and um, some DEET. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and cheers.